All right, so here we are on the front stage, and we're going to talk about putting this all together, putting together the front stage of your business model, the front end of your business model. And so I would suggest that you uh, print out the business model canvas that I have in the documents and fill this stuff out because I'm going to ask you some questions as we go through all of this stuff and start to help you with your ideas. So the first thing is hopefully you have an idea in mind and um, as far as what it is that you want to be building. So again, the first thing that we need to talk about is customers. And what we need to take a look at with customers is who or what is your target customer segment? And, you know, for example, I talked about in the last one, my target customer segment is entrepreneurs who have never succeeded in business or never started a business. That's my aim. I believe that business is predictable. I believe that failure is unnecessary um, as long as you have a good idea and you're on top of your game and you work things correctly, you'll always be able to find a certain level of success. You may not be able to, you know, you may not sell it to uh, Facebook for a billion dollars, but you'll be able to come up with a certain amount of success. Then once you have your customer segment, entrepreneurs, we're starting out. What are the pains, the gains, and the jobs that they have? So what are the pains, the gains, and the jobs that your customers have that are associated with the idea that you have? That's what you need to take a take a peek at and start making jotting down those notes. And then lastly, when you're thinking of the pains, the gains, and the jobs, you need to think of them socially, emotionally, and functionally. So socially, what are what are the entrepreneurs having a hard time with? Socially, what they're having a hard time with usually is getting people onto their list, getting customers, building relationships, um, building their ideas out is part of the social fabric because they, they're not actually communicating correctly to people. Emotionally, getting over that fear of failure, getting over the hump, and we can start solving that problem by giving you different uh tools and tactics like putting together the business model as, a, as an example starts to give you some emotional relief that you're able to see your entire business out on one piece of paper and functionally we're going to show you how to build your sites um, build your models build distribution channels use facebook twitter whatever it is that you decide to use to build your business uh, seo all of that kind of stuff we're going to have top all of those topics on here and so Think of all of that stuff when you're thinking of your customers. What are they going through? Now, the next thing is to create a proposition, and the proposition is formed like this. How does your idea, idea benefit your customers? For example, I have just at the launch of this uh, business, or at the launch of the Inventor project, I'm launching a, right around 18 different training programs that you're going to be able to go through step by step type stuff. So, I'm going to be able to provide you with a ton of information, not just information, but how-tos on how to actually start your business. That would be a benefit as an example. What do they exchange for the value you provide? So, this is what is the cost to them. And a lot of people have a hard time with cost. Um, a lot of people are afraid that customers are going to get upset about it. The best way for me to explain why you need to charge is because you're providing them something of value something that they value and so in exchange it's only fair that they provide you with something that you value in return so in this case it could be money it could be training there's all sorts of different things but it's an exchange of value so that no one ever leaves feeling like they got you know the shit end of the stick and then why are they going to care? You have to figure out why your customers are going to care about the idea that you have and telling them why it is that they're going to care. So take some, take some time right through those things. How does your idea benefit your customers? What do they exchange for the value that you provide? And why are they going to care? And then the next thing that we're going to take a look at is distribution. And distribution is about connecting the customers to your product. So there's a few different distribution channels. One is marketing and advertising channels. And I like to say that marketing is about creating relationships and advertising is about getting awareness. That's just my type of, my ideas behind it. 
There's also sales distribution, which is how are you going to distribute your product? So for example, you get the product when you log into the site and you get access to the information. And then you're going to be using content to create demand. That's one way of creating or of distributing stuff. So you have marketing, you have sales, and you have content that you can be distributing. So take a look at those, think of the different ways that you can reach people. And you can be specific with this, like Facebook pages, Google Plus pages, using Facebook groups, um, SEO, paid marketing, whatever it is that you come up with. Solo ads, there's all sorts of, sorts of different options that you have. And then lastly, you're gonna take a look at customer relationships. Now, there's five steps to customer relationships. The first thing is gonna be how do you acquire them? That's gonna be offsite stuff. SEO counts as offsite because it's actually on Google that they get your rankings. Okay, so things like SEO, social media, content marketing that you do off-site, these are all different things of how are you gonna how are you going to get awareness to your idea? So think about that for how what would be the best way for you to get awareness to your idea? What are the strategies that you have? The next thing is gonna be acquisition. How are you going to get opt-ins? Are you gonna build landing pages, give away free tri trials, give away um, just have an, an opt-in form. Acquisition is all about getting their contact information. How are you going to get their contact information? Then the next thing is gonna be retention. This is gonna th be things like your blogs, your email, social media stuff, stuff that keeps them engaged with your, with your product, with your brand. Then the next thing is gonna be referrals, which is word of mouth marketing. How are you going to get the people who have become aware of your product, they've signed up, they've come back a few times reading your blogs, they like your email and social media. How are you gonna get those people to spread your word for you through referrals? And then lastly is revenue. How are you going to drive revenue for the, for the product? Are you going to look at things like selling products? Are you gonna use advertising? And we'll get into the different revenue models later on in this training. But these are the first things that you want to take a look at as far as the front side. So you have your, your customers, you have your propositions, you have your distribution channels for marketing, for sales, and for content. And then you have your customer relationships, which is how you're going to move people through in order to get them to um, buy your product. So that is the basics for this particular training in the front end the front stage then we'll move on to the back end